Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about the law of inertia. Are you ready? Let's begin! The study of motion falls under the branch of physics known as mechanics. The law of inertia is the first of Newton's three laws of motion and it states, an object at rest will remain at rest, and an object in motion will remain in motion with a constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. This law essentially describes the natural tendency of objects to maintain their state of motion. It introduces the concept of inertia, which is the resistance of an object to changes in its motion. The key points of the law of inertia can be broken down into two scenarios. Object at rest. If an object is at rest, it will stay at rest unless a force is applied to it. This means that the default state of an object is to remain stationary and an external force is required to set it in motion. Object in motion. If an object is already in motion with a certain velocity, it will continue to move at that constant velocity unless an external force acts on it. This implies that an object in motion will not naturally come to a stop or change its speed unless a force is applied to alter its motion. The law of inertia is a fundamental principle that helps us understand how objects behave in the absence of external forces. It laid the groundwork for ensuing loss of motion and is a crucial concept in classical mechanics. In everyday experiences, you can observe the law of inertia. For example, a ball comes to a stop after rolling on the ground due to friction. Or when a car accelerates when you press the gas pedal. Now here are fun facts about the law of inertia. Galileo's contribution. While Newton formulated the laws of motion, Galileo Galilei had earlier hinted at the concept of inertia. Galileo's experiments and observations, such as those involving inclined planes and rolling balls, laid the groundwork for the understanding of inertia that Newton later formalized. Inertia in sports In sports like baseball, when a pitcher throws a ball, the ball's initial state of rest is overcome by the force applied by the pitcher. The law of inertia helps explain why the ball continues in motion after leaving the pitcher's hand until influenced by other forces such as air resistance and gravity. Seat belts and car inertia The use of seat belts in cars is designed to protect passengers based on the law of inertia. In the event of a sudden stop or collision, the seat belt applies a force to the passenger, helping to bring them to rest along with the car and reducing the risk of injury. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the law of inertia today. Take care now, bye bye! If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like, that will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!